are we doing today, Chewy? Uh, we're gonna go and take the spot with the current axles. And one of the Dexter axles, comparable. If for people looking at it's the same, use of a part, both axles the same. And uh, it's gonna be fun for this. Yeah, so we're taking taking all the parts off the Carter 12,000 pound electric brake axle and putting it onto the Dexter 12,000 pound brake axle and all the parts off the Dexter onto the Carter to show everybody that all the parts are 100% interchangeable and we're gonna have a good time doing it. Stay tuned. Here's loose. So Chewie's taking apart the Carter axle and I'm taking the Dexter. This one is, uh, I know, uh, oh man, so so the first difference about the Dexter and the Carter, this is the only difference because we prefer this over how Dexter does. So if you look at the Dexters, they have nut and then they have the pain in the ass thing that I hate. And on the Carter ones, we have the big castle nut and the cotter pin. So all of our customers that we've talked to, along with us, prefer having the castle nut and cotter pin versus having to deal with Dexter's spider web type deal. <laughs> Anyways, so that's going to be the only difference. What do they call these actually? Uh, I don't know idea. What do you call them? Lock washer? Lock washer, I guess. Right. Look at this. Simple, huh? Look at the big the castle nut. It's a huge. Carter axles have big nuts. <laughs> it's a big. Versus Dexter's. Look, how many that would come out with this? Like, <laughs> if you put it like this. Oh, what, do you, what do you call this tool? Call that tool a, a, a puller of things. Do you need a, uh, oh yeah, it's coming. Got myself a Dexter. Ready? Oh, look at that pretty thing. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Nice. Very new. So just so y'all know for the record, we got the 28682 bearing that just came out of the Carter axle. Just like it's going to come out the Dexter here in a second. Alright, so now we're taking apart the, taking off the Dexter. Last video, we didn't have this cool thing and <laughs> it's a pretty funny video trying to take these off without proper tools. What? All right, so we have the Carter hub and drum off the 12,000 pound axle right now. And that's what it's looking like. Nice and fresh, brand new. And we are about to remove the Dexter hub and drum off the 12K Dexter axle here. And we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like and go from there. So let's just take a look and compare real quick after taking off the Dexter hub and drum on this new axle. That's how their axles look when we take them off versus the Carter ones. There's a big difference in what those look like. One looks brand new, one looks a little not so brand new. <laughs> I doesn't like that we're videotaping it. Why? No reason. Go. Okay. All of them is breaking loose. Let's get to the other one. Which one you got it first? Oh, this one? Yeah. Ready? 20 more. So we got the 7 bolt brake assembly on both the Carter and the Dexter axles here. Uh, right there. Okay. Look at that. Okay, and I still got one more. Oh, I should not have this there. You did that. Brake assembly for the Dexter and brake assembly for the part. You can see them um, that they're exactly the same except he left the bolts in his. I didn't leave mine. <laughs> I just leave them for you for just. So Chewy mentioned that the brake flange on the Carter axle is fully welded all the way around. It's only on the inside but also on the outside fully welded all the way around versus the Dexter that's just spot welded. So we're putting the Carter brakes on the Dexter and the Dexter brakes on the Carter axle. No, it doesn't matter because all the parts are interchangeable 100%. Ooh. Well, because you started with all of them. You cheated. No, I just leave them four in that 
breaking something. I don't take the other one. Hold it. Yep. Maybe. Got it? Mm -hmm. Shoot, man. You got push in there. Oh, you got it. My uh, bearings. Ah, and I didn't see. I never knew. I never knew there was a round and a flat. That's where they go. One flat side. The other side, like little b. I see that. Yeah. Are you ready? I bet. Can you order one? Sure. We're going to die. Mommy is all the way right now. Hmm? It's all the way now. You touch already, you stop it at uh, the bearing. Oh, I'm sorry. Already bent it. Yes, they're pre bent for you. You did? See, that one came in flat one side, and the other side came where the flat sides go in all the time. So everything's fit. So we have successfully put the harder hub and drum on the Dexter axle to show you that everything is 100% interchangeable. Oh yeah, I guess that my fingers. Don't put your hand inside. <laughs> it's supposed to get it outside. Almost done. Should I just bend it? Spins like a wheel. Yeah, right on. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, people of all ages, Chewy, and Caleb have successfully transferred all of the Carter 12K axle components onto the Dexter 12,000 pound axle and the Dexter axle components onto the Carter 12,000 pound axle showing you that it is 100% interchangeable. No ifs, ands, or about it folks as we just showed it to you. So get your Carter axles at TrailerPartsUnlimited.com or give us a call at 844-898-8687 and Chewie will help you out.